Well, hey, how y'all doing out there today? Um, listen, bear with me. <laughs> I've been sitting around all day working on my own uh, business. Uh, still being, have got this cold kicking my ass, so I got my my rag. But uh, I'm sitting around um, worrying about my own issues. And, and, uh, and what I like to do is I like to take time and research the people that are going to be, you know, if you know, you know, uh, who made the charges on me, who uh, who's going to be judging me, and just see if we can find bios. The internet is full of free things, and, and then it's nice to know people in low places, and you can learn things the way you want. And uh, as I was checking out my particular case, I noticed that the man that uh, takes care of one part of this and the man that takes care of the other part of it were probably the most least educated men I ever seen on this part. And I'm not saying they're dumb men by no means. I'm just saying that they had really no background. Um, um, a judge and a sheriff, they should really, I, I feel like, should, should should know the law or have a law degree and all. And I, I thought they had to. And this is my point. This is why I'm coming to you tonight. I was just going to lay on the couch and <laughs> nurse this cold because I got a bad cold, y'all. But uh, uh, so I, I, I was like, wow, I just got my brain ticking. So I, I pulled up some stuff and I, I, um, I looked at the requirements and wow, I, I couldn't believe that um, the requirements on this were so low. A judge... Uh, especially a magistrate judge or somebody that could put you in prison that, that's ruling on you on you breaking the law all right uh it only has to have a bachelor's degree and that's that could be in anything that could be in anything and then have legal experience so that could be doing tax returns that could be um, working in a law office that could be uh, anything anything being an accountant uh, any, any type of legal experience it, it didn't say particular and uh and and later on, while they're a judge, there, there's another thing that they can they can they should strive to get, and it's a it's a type of a law degree, but they don't have to have it. And uh, so, so then I looked up the, a, a requirement for a sheriff, and it said it would be nice if the sheriff had at least a GED. <laughs> so basically, it said a high school dropout could be sheriff. No other requirements, no classes, no formal training whatsoever. And the sheriff is the most powerful law enforcement in your county. I don't know if many of you know this, the, the sheriff can arrest uh, the president of the United States in that county. That's why Joe Arpaio kept saying he would arrest Obama uh, about his birth certificate crap uh, if he ever came into uh, uh, Maricopa County down over there in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. You get it now? This is, this, <laughs> this is the man like the old shows you used to see, like old White Lightning with old Burt Reynolds in it, and that old sheriff of Bogan County, and he ran his county. And uh, and I've lived down south all my life. Uh, every sheriff, y'all, they run their county up there in West Virginia. The sheriff runs that ca those counties up there. Uh, that's what I'm concerned about, but it ain't my business. Out in California, the hippies used to elect the sheriff to uh, run off the, the, the posters and the, and the people growing pot, not to arrest the pot growers. They're the most powerful person in that county. They decide. They run the jails and they run the, the courts. You always see the bell every time you go into a jail or a court, it's the sheriff, unless it's these corporate jails and they hire correctional officers. But but I'm that ain't the point. So I'm thinking, wow, man, it just the, the it, it hit me and 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 maybe like you, uh my first thought was, man, as anybody can just throw me in jail uh, just because I ain't a part of the community, right? And I'm always preaching about community, and I don't blame this community I'm at uh, or got this trouble in right now for dealing with it their way. Uh, if I was local, I bet it would have been different. I know it would have been different, but I'm not. I'm not local and uh, stepped on some toes, and they and they, you know, that's what those people do. And I was like, but man, I, 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 I don't know if this magistrate judge knows the law that this prosecutor's going to throw at him, the sheriff uh, getting these charges. Does he really know why he charged me, what he charged me with? And and they just wasn't trained. I mean, maybe they don't know the law, and I, they're breaking the law, and they don't even know it. But here's the thing, y'all. Those are elected positions. We, the people, put those in there. Nobody, The police are, are put in by the mayor. All right. You ever think about that, too? The police is the one that hires. I mean, the, the mayor is the one that hires the police chief and the police chief hires the officers. So the mayor is an elected official as well. So this counts for that. And it, and it just hit me like a ton of bricks. y'all. It was like, bam, the biggest thought in my mind. It's like, wow, why? We all think we're the little man. We all think because we don't we didn't do well in school or we didn't go somewhere. We might not be able to do this or that. We can't change nothing because we ain't got what these people got, the education, the prestige, the, the, the good lifestyle, everything else. No, no, ma'am. No, sir. No, sir. We can elect each other. 
we're we the people. We live in that county. I bet many people in that county with every system around is tired of it these days. Everybody's tired of law enforcement. Everybody's tired of the way that we're being a judge and, the, and the, uh, the, the mandatory sentences and the weird things, not taking each case for, for each individual person, just throwing everything in a box, filling up these corporate prisons with untrained uh, guards and whatnot, where m most people will tell you in most county jails that the sheriff's running it, it's being run with deputies. And, and that's, a, that's a lot different story right there. It's, it's still the law and the, and the bad guy, you know what I mean? They, we, there's a good divide there, but everybody works together better. With these correctional officers, y'all, like, I told y'all, it's like Walmart employees with a TSA handbook on how to do their job. And they try to buddy up with people. There's more contraband comes in. I'm just trying to say that this we control this. So, so in, in other words, and, here, and I told y'all I was going to start getting real and start and start being, giving some hard, tough love. Well, here's some tough love. How can we bitch about the law enforcement and the judging that we hire in our county? I, can't, I don't care what they do everywhere else, and I'm not saying that's not the problem. But in the county that you live in where you would get arrested in, that's where you got to worry about the law and the judges the most. So you can change that. First, you can bring it up. Bring up the requirements to be a sheriff, bring up the requirements to be a judge and let the people know that. That's where we need to educate each other. We need to educate each other and tell each other, hey, you can be the sheriff. I can be the sheriff. You know, anybody can. It's your county. And in your community, the town in that county, let's just say you got a sheriff that's a good sheriff or, or whatever, and, and you're, not, you're not upset with the judging system, but you want to, you know, like right around you, you want something different. You can hire, you can elect the mayor that hires the police chief. So you can then they can put anybody in like they want to. I know there's been a lot of movies and stuff about that, but I never really looked at it like the, like Walking Tall, the old Walking Tall, you know, where he wanted to get all the criminal element out of his county down there in Alabama or something in Tennessee or yeah, Tennessee, I believe. And uh went around beating everybody with a stick because he went and got elected. People were tired of things. This is why we have to unite, y'all. This is why our brotherhood and the love for each other really needs to start being looked at. In, 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 in ways of solutions now. We know that we need to love each other. We know our brotherhood and our unity is what the man fears. This is why they fear it. We can overrun a voting booth place. We can overrun, man, that's something. Look, we always look at things on the national level. We always look at things about the federal law thinking that it's Trump law. And it is in a way because they just got a bigger army <laughs> and probably more judges. But we elect these in our county if there ain't no crime being reported to the federal government there ain't nobody down there in that county around if everybody's happy and everybody's and everything's getting done and there, and there ain't no news reports and people being shot and police shooting people in the street there ain't no need for no federal government being in your county there's so many solutions in this so many easy ways that we can actually do y'all this ain't no pipe dream this is going around and educating each other on the on the requirements for these positions and the importance of these two positions, judges and sheriffs, especially the sheriff, being being our people, being us. I'm tired of that side of the fence. I, I don't care if it's a goody two-shoe guy. I hope he is a good man or woman. I hope it's a good person with great morals that will look at each situation as it is. That's what I want to see elected. And only you and I know who them people are. And we got to go pick those people, those I would rather see them be elders, of course, because they have more knowledge. But the people in our community that you know, and that's the second part, finding the person to fit these positions. We know them. You know them. You live there. This is your home. It's probably where you was born and raised and, and living now. And if you are successful with this and you had a really great running community in your county, and, and I mean, your whole county was running smooth and everybody got, got, got treated equally with, with fair justice and, and all equality, then other people would see that, that would spread. Other people would want to come there and be a part of it. Y'all, everything about unity, and I'm going to try to keep from crying right here, kills all our problems, our racial injustice, Racism, period. It's just unity. It's just looking at each other and saying, I love you, brother and sister. We are the same. And somebody else is controlling us. Somebody else is oppressing us. Somebody else has made a system that fits them. I can't do nothing about the fucking world. All I can do is something about me. But we can do something in our regions, in our counties for sure. At least in your community, start with trying to get a mayor. 
Don't be afraid of this. Don't be afraid of failure. When somebody gets out there and runs for, for one of these particular offices, including mayor, sheriff, and judge of your county, this will be a real election. This will be where you have a chance to physically go door to door, talk to people, be real about it. Find the prime person, a person that's trusted by the majority of the people to put in there. Somebody that's going to be fair and just. Somebody that's not going to come in your house with an MRAP and shoot you in your house. Not Somebody that's not going to throw a stun grenade in your baby's crib. We need our people, y'all. We need people that care. We need people that love. And we need people that look at each other as equals. Equal human beings. And we can do it. You got to quit crying about it and start doing it. I am. And I don't, I ain't going to say when and where or what I'm going to pick, but I'll work with anybody that wants to work with this in their county. Anybody that wants ideas, other people that's done this, because ain't all I've been doing all day. I've been researching on how to get into this, how to become a sheriff, how to become a magistrate judge. I'll get the information myself. I'll put it out here, teach you, you teach others, and let's get this spread. In the next election season, look, if nothing ever happens immediately, we didn't get in this position quickly. The police didn't just start shooting us. Everything didn't just get like this. We allowed it to happen. We, we tried complying. They said comply or die, and everybody tried to lay down a little bit, and they just kicked the boot in further. Once they had us down, they pushed us further. That's what this law enforcement today is doing. And they're doing it by orders of even the president of the United States. When he get, first was elected, one of the first things came out of his goddamn mouth was beat him up worse and throw him in a car. Well, hell no. I can't do nothing about Donald Trump. I can't do nothing about Joe Arpaio out there in Maricopa County. I can't do nothing about these dirty sheriffs all around here. But what I can tell you, brothers and sisters, is we, the people, are the power of the United States. So why aren't we the power being beaten down by lesser men? Think about that. We are being beaten down by lesser men because we lay down and take it. Now, I don't say nothing about standing up by force. I don't think we should be fighting them back. I believe in what Frederick Nietzsche say. Don't become the monster you fight. So don't fight back with, these, with this, this new world order police. What we do is we look for change coming up in the future. In the very near future, the next election season in your county, that gives you how much time you need. So if it's a year or two years away or whatever, that means that gives you a year or two years to get ready. Find a person. Go door to door. Change your community. Other than that, live in it. Comply and live in it. That's the tough love part right there. Comply and live in it or change it. And it can be changed without violence. I do not condone violence for anybody that watches this video. Uh, law enforcement, judges out there worrying about your job, sheriff worrying about your job, whatever. I ain't, I ain't promoting violence. I told them to, to use the ballot. Use the ballot as their sword and vote their county in because that's the only voting that counts. And I, one thing right here real quick, because I'm down on voting at the federal level. That's a joke. The president of the United States position is, is selected, not elected. And this last, this last election season proved it. Uh, one candidate won by three and a half million votes, but the other one got put in by the Electoral College. The New World Order puts in what they want, but not in your county. Not in your county. So we see how it's run. We see how it's done. So I'm not saying that voting at the local level. I never said voting at the local level doesn't work. And you people get out there, especially in a, Listen, somebody was telling me in a, in a, a, my friend Kurt, uh, my cellmate from Chicago up there and when I was in the pokey. And this and this this really it surprised me when he said it. But he said there was a county in Mississippi where his grandma lives, and everything goes good there now. It's just they, they, it's Mississippi, but they said the railroad tracks run through there, and uh, and the white folks lived on one side of the railroad tracks, and the black folks lived on the other side of the railroad tracks. All right, we well, in that town, five percent of the community was white, ninety five percent of the community was black. Yet the sheriff, the judge, uh, everybody, every position of, of authority was white. What the hell? 95% of the population is uh, is black, but five and five percent white, and 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 the, and the judge is 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 as a white man. The sheriff is a white man. The deputies are white, huh? I don't. I can't get that. I don't get that. Even uh, mixing it up. I look at I look at cities like Atlanta has black sheriff, black mayor. Uh, they deal with their issues. Atlanta, Atlanta Georgia. Um, I don't care how you look at. It. I lived there for 16 months. It's a predominantly black town, and. Uh, for the most part, except for the, some of the drug and gang violence, 
I mean, it's a beautiful place, and, and people get along. People from Chicago came down there. People from Detroit came down there. But the, but the thing is, that that's how they took care of their issues there. They went in and elected who they wanted in. Now, one last thing. I understand anybody can get somewhere and get bought out or get, get something like that. That's where it's very important, we the people, my brothers and sisters, again, to unite, to communicate to say hello to each other, to talk to each other, to be as social as we can, to know as much as we can about each other on a good level, not the paranoid level, that we choose and pick somebody that has integrity and, and the balls to stand up. Well, not to stand up, but not to be um, manipulated, not to be bought out. We're all tired of people getting bought out, people that we like, people that we thought was going to do all these great things. But man, you know, can you just think about the power of that in your county? The one place you can do something about. The one place you can do something about. You can vote in or even be. You can be the sheriff. You can be the judge. You can be the mayor. You can run your community. Because I, I, I don't know. For some reason, they, they brainwash this one conception out of all of y'all's minds. We always talk about the community, the community. Well, who's the community? The community is us. So the laws are supposed to be our laws. You see what I'm saying? The way things are run, they're supposed to be the way we want them run. But man, we, we, we quickly and unthinkingly just do something or don't. Don't do something and don't let, allow these people into, into power. And, or these people get into power and, and some guy that wanted to pay them off do this and things get, I know all that can happen. But we had the power all the time, and they took it out. Of, there's like, well, somebody's looking after me, looking after my community. Well, you are the community. So when we're talking and when we're, we're speaking to each other, when we're, when we're having barbecues together and, 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 and dinners and get-togethers, when we're taking the kids somewhere and we're, and we're out watching them play, why don't we be talking about how we take it back and we start in our county? We, they got everybody twisted on this national level or even the world. We look at the world's problems. Oh, how can I do about this? Oh, look what Trump's doing. We, we can't get immigrants in. We can't do this. We can't do that. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, man. Well, what about your county? What about what you can do? They show you so – this is the mind fuck, y'all, and, and I didn't want to cuss, but here it is. Here's the mind fuck of the day. They show you all these massive problems that you can't take care about. You can't take care of because, see, we're all inside generally good people and we want to help and we see things like a, a person getting run over or a dog getting hit, you know, something bad. We, we feel bad. We wish we could do something about it. But but they got our mindset where we're, we're focusing on all these things that we can't do nothing about, the war in Iraq, what's going on in Syria, starving kids here, um, what's going on in Venezuela, what's going on in everywhere around the world. And and we don't that, that don't give us time to even focus on what we can do about our own problems at home or even makes our problems seem less like hey maybe it ain't so bad to comply to these people because we don't got it as bad as the palestinians being murdered every day uh we're not being treated that bad well, who, but how could you be treated why are you being treated the way you're being treated now it's all because we're not focusing on our problems we're focusing on every other negative thing out there instead of what we can do we can do in our county in ourselves first though you know, I'm going to, before I get off here, I'm going to bring it up the line. The change begins within your heart. That's the only heart you can change. Okay? Before we get out there and, and want to save the world, you can't. The world don't want to be saved. What we can do, though, is change ourselves. And then when we change ourselves, we can work on those around us we love, especially our family, maybe our neighbors, our friends. And maybe you can change your heart there. That'll spread a little bit. It, it snowballs, y'all. It's, it's more amazing than many of you negative folks out there think. I know a lot of people say we need more, we need more. No, I think we have enough now. I think, not, not enough, but I think we're in great numbers now. People that have changed their minds and changed their hearts. They stepped away from the matrix. They stepped away from the lie. They see it, they know it, and they're just trying to survive in it. I know many, many of you are just trying to survive in it. And you always, I know you think I'm rough on you when I talk about this or that. No, I appreciate what you're doing. I understand the struggle. But this part of it, who, who arrests us, who jails us, and who judges us, we can change it. We can change that with a vote. But that means some work. That means you're going to have to get on your feet, free work, 
And uh, I mean, you don't got to put into it, but you ain't got you ain't gonna get put get paid either. <laughs> but you go door to door, and you, with your person that y'all pick, and you and you talk first about what they want changed in their community. And I bet you'll come to find out that everybody about wants the same thing changed in their community, and it's the way that their their people are being judged, jailed, and arrested. So there's your format. I guess everybody has to format or your agenda for running. You know, everything else in the town's fine, but man, we're tired of our homeless people being shot. We're we're tired of people being abused, or or why why don't, why don't we train our law officers the way we want them to run our county? Because this is our county. I'm not telling you to be separatists, but I'm telling you to separate away from what the federal government has put in your programmed into your brain about leadership, about authority, and and about and, and about judging us. It ain't right. Ain't none of it right, and it only feeds a corporate prison system that make anywhere up to two hundred dollars a day off of your loved ones being in jail or in prison. And that's there. There you go. So I don't want the, I don't want a sheriff that's been bought out by Halliburton or 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 or, or that other one. Um, can't remember the name of the other one that own these corporate prisons and go up to the sheriff and say, Hey, man, uh, every every guy that you um, arrest, you know, you, you get, we'll give you some we'll give you some, some bonus money on that. Or go to the judge and say, "Well, give them all thirty days because we make six thousand a month off, off, off of them." No, we ain't gonna have that no more. We ain't gonna have no mandatory sentencing. It's going to be case by case, person by person. Character references, people in the community that'll say, "Hey, let him out," because I'm fitting to put his ass to work. He ain't gonna be doing that shit no more. We gotta help other people not get in trouble too. Because guess what, America? Guess what? We the people, my tribe, my brothers and sisters, we're regular people. So we get in some shit. <laughs> So there you go. I'm living proof of that, and I ain't, and I and I don't want to be coddled about it. But when 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 you know you go and you pay your penance when you do something, some things are worth the price of what you got to pay, and uh, and I'll I'll go I'll go to my grave saying that. But uh but but I don't mean that we can't uh, start taking charge of some of these youngins uh, or 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 young young ones that are getting into this prison industrial complex system, and we can't change it in our county. Get it again in our county. A lot of counties start doing this, and we get some get the ball rolling on this, y'all. Ain't no no telling where it stop. I mean, oh my God, can you imagine that though? To 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 really like even know personally know the sheriff and the judge. And it ain't like I said once again. I'm not talking about a handout system. I'm not talking about anarchy. I'm not talking about anything. I damn sure ain't talking about violence and change. I'm talking about changing and then being the change. You also taking responsibility for being a better countyman, uh, a citizen, whatever you want to call it, a better a better tribal member in your community, and and you watch how things go back to, to well, I ain't gonna say go back to you watch how things come into a, a beautiful evolution of, of uh, communication and understanding and equality and justice. Equality and justice is what it's all about, right? Because when somebody tells me it's not about equality and justice. Think I'm gonna find me another train to ride for a little while. That's what I'm here for. I'm tired of seeing it all my life. I'm tired of being a part of it, and I'm I'm, I'm damn sure tired of seeing people in my my life, uh, my my friends and their children, and and people in y'all's life being shot down in the street or given super long prison sentences uh, because of guidelines. Mm -mm. Ain't gonna be that way. But we can change it. We can change it. I love y'all. I just wanna let you know that you. No matter what you do for, at least for today, <laughs> for for a little, you know, for how things are going in this part of history, you need to remember that we are, we the people. We are the masses in this country. This is our country. We're not trying to run the whole thing. We're not trying to do anything but live in our county by our laws. Know the laws. Vote your next sheriff and your next judge in that you want. And that way, you won't have to live in fear. Peace.